And what engine's this? Uh, it's an F-54, Obviously that's not mine. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video and another update on the Project Civic. A lot has happened since the last episode. Unfortunately, the car that starred in the first two episodes has gone to car heaven. We couldn't salvage it. The cost of repair just far outweighed the whole point of the project and had to let it go. A bit sad, I didn't want it to go that way, but we got the car up on the ramp and the more that we investigated it, the more we realized that the rust was just too bad. Um, the engine bay particularly was just, yeah, dead. So I hit a bit of a crossroads. I could either stop the project or try and find another shell and we're in the another shell. Um, this is almost an identical car. It is the same year, it's the same color. Um, it didn't come with an engine and as you can see the interior has definitely seen better days however it's not moldy so oh, that nearly fell it's not moldy so that's a good thing i will give you a walk around of the outside in a moment but like i said it's not too different apart from one unusual thing on the front bumper which is why the front bumper from the old civic is in this car it'll all make sense so i've now owned this shell for i want to say close to a month and we've not done anything with it and that's been my fault because in between deciding that the old shell needed to go and finding a new one i just there was a gap obviously and in that gap i began to have doubts about whether i wanted to push forward with this project or maybe buy something else um equally there's a ton of stuff that needs to be done on the M3. So I'm going to be making a video about everything that is right and wrong with that car very soon. But with those costs on the horizon, I thought, hang on, is this the right move? But I also don't want this car to just be sat here because although I can't show you today, the underneath of this car is very, very clean. I will include some photos now um, that were sent to me when we bought the car and then subsequently when we got it up on our own ramp and had a look, very clean underneath. Engine bay is really nice as well. So it doesn't look like much right now, but I think this car has a lot of potential. And I'll also switch over to my iPhone in a moment and do a bit of a, an interior tour because there's a couple of things in here that are just outright strange. But this is the first time I've sat in it and it's quite nice in here. I actually like it. Um, what can I say? It's just got, it's got a bit of character, you know? I know at the moment the right thing to do would be to focus on buying a sensible daily because that's the big gap in my garage at the moment. I do have a daily. I've never posted anything about it. It's an old car, it's nothing fancy, but it's starting to show its age. So I need to prioritize a daily, a modern car, but it's just these old cars, you know, there's something about them. You just don't get this character in new cars. And I'm really excited to see how far we can take it. Now, we were just discussing a moment ago about what to do next, because if I'm going to kick this project off, I need to do it properly. But at the same time, I don't want to have a huge bill trying to get everything done all at once. So the block, as you can see, now this is all I had of the Civic for close to a month, but this is now ready to be painted. That's going to be happening over the next week or two. The diffs arriving on Monday. So we're going to be um, rebuilding the gearbox as well. So everything is going to be kind of coming together engine wise, gearbox wise, etc. Um, but in terms of the shell, I wanted to do a couple of things that maybe I should just wait on. So coilovers, this is on standard uh, suspension at the moment. So it's riding a little high and then also changing the wheels but again these wheels aren't terrible they could probably just do with a refurb that would be cheaper than buying a new set of wheels brakes as well i could probably get away with running these stock brakes for a little while just to get the car back on the road and mobile and then maybe add to it as time goes on but knowing myself i'll probably want to do all of that all at once without paying for it can't have it both ways so I need to make a couple of decisions and think about what I'm going to prioritize but I think for the time being 
I'm just going to take, I'm going to take my time with it. Uh, when I bought that first shell, I was in a real rush because I was like, right, let's get this done. Let's get it on the road. Let's get it out there. But actually, I think, you know, let's take a little bit of time with this. Um, and part of the reason why I buy these old project cars is because I just can't make my mind up about a modern car to replace my RS3. I don't want to go into it again because I've said it so many times now, but I just can't decide and no new car is really screaming at me like, yes, buy me. I did mention in my last video on the M3 that I do like the F82 M4s, but I'm still on the fence as whether or not that's the right car for me. But I don't really know what the right car is. So for the time being, it's gonna be just ticking cars off my bucket list of older cars that I wanna own. And there is a couple of others uh, that I may have mentioned before. I'm constantly looking for an E90 manual M3. Um, I think I want an Integra as well. I'd quite like an S2000, I think. There's just a, a ton of old cars that I'd, I'd like to go through first, I think, especially whilst we still can, because with fuel changes and tax changes, etc., we just don't know how much longer these old cars are gonna be viable to to buy and own so i don't know if that made sense but yeah that's where my head is at so let me stop waffling i'm gonna give you a tour of the interior quick walk around outside it is freezing cold out there so we will keep it brief and then i'm gonna wrap this up okay we've switched over to my iphone it's probably gonna be a bit shaky for a minute but let's take in the interior now the steering wheel came with the car not sure what the previous owner was thinking but there you go is it kind of a drift spec i quite like it actually i'll probably keep this because it's in good condition the horn button cracks me up uh the gear stick seen better days so i might change it see how we get on we've got a few scratches on the dash no stereo not particularly bothered about that I'm not sure what was going on here though just don't really know what was going on i just don't know why that seemed like a good idea that will be coming off asap uh, this is number 768 out of i don't know but aside from that those the badge the steering wheel the interior is mostly clean oh there is a few bits of trim missing like that there and then this here but apart from that there's no mold you can actually sit in here and breathe so, yeah, seems seems all right, to be honest. No money hidden in there, it's a shame. Uh, behind me is a slightly different story. So this is some parts from the first shell. So I kept the back box just in case. Um, I also kept the front bumper. I'll show you why in a minute. And then the seats as well are there too. Now, those seats are actually mouldy, thinking about it. So I am sat in mould. Damn. But I've kept those because I thought I might be able to make a bit if I sold them. But let's have a quick look around out here. I'm trying not to make this geezer's Jeep. Cherishes it. Firstly, don't know what's going on here, but they're coming off straight away. I'll probably try and get rid of this tin as well if I can. Um, but you can see what I mean about the wheels. They're not too bad. Got a bit of kind of rust on the brakes there. Hopefully those don't seize. But you can see down here there's not too much rust. I don't think there's any actually. Um, there is some spots in usual places, but underneath is really clean. A few scratches, etc. Um, black wing mirrors. Oi, oi. Working our way around the front. Original headlights, which is good. But what's that? I've been told that's for air intake. So when I saw that, I knew immediately it needed to come off. Underneath the bonnet, there's obviously nothing there, but you can see it's in far better condition than the old car. And then down there, nothing too sinister going on down here. I don't think there's any, no, there's no dents or anything, but Black spoiler's got to be changed as well. Rear bumper, yep, rear bumper's got a lot of peeling on it, so that needs to be sorted. Gel plates, oi oi, 100 extra brake horsepower there. But apart from that, it's not too bad. Um, it's in much better condition than 
first one. So yeah, let me jump them back in because I am freezing. So we're back inside trying to keep warm. That is the Civic. It's just as much of a shitter as the first one, except it isn't rusty. So that's a win. I will be keeping you guys up to date with the progress that we make. Um, some parts are coming in on Monday. We suspect that from Monday we'll be able to kind of kick off bringing this back to life and, and reigniting the project. <laughs> no pun, but let's cut it there because I don't want to waffle. I hope you all have a good one. Until my next video, guys. Peace.